Good afternoon, everybody. Hope your Sunday's going well. We're live for another Sunday show. Listen, this one is kind of a special show. That's not supposed to be on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Listen, this one is kind of a special show. I can't believe I did that two weeks in a row. See, I was nervous before I came on. So I did that two weeks in a row now. It's such a rookie thing. Hang on a minute. Now I lost my other window. Oh, woe is me. Hang on. <laughs> hmm. I'll be with you in a second. I can't see the chat right now. Now I'm all flustered. It's coming. There it is. There it is. All right. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Okay. So... The reason I was kind of nervous is because I have that giveaway thing I'm doing. Thank you for watching my channel and getting me past 3,000 subscribers, everybody. So I have a giveaway that I'm going to do, and uh, whether it was a good one or not, I don't know. Probably was not. After I got to thinking about it, I thought it wasn't. But anyway, it's going to be a $50 uh, coupon to my shop dazzled by vintage uh, all you have to do is uh, was leave a comment for this video and I uh, and like and subscribe and then I and I got the random comment picker oh I hope it works and uh, and I put the URL in all that stuff all I'm supposed to do is push this start it's gonna pick somebody so uh, I will put uh, the name of my shop down here, Dazzled by Vintage, and you'll be able to see, and you just contact me on Dazzled by Vintage, and uh, I'll just make the coupon good for, you know, whenever you want to use it, and, um, and that'll be that. All right, let's do this. So I already put the URL in and everything, and now I'm going to start. Okay, Whew. I think it's picking somebody. Granny Josie, congratulations. Congratulations, Granny Josie. You win $50 to my shop. I hope that is going to be a good gift for you, a good uh, winning for you. Um. I couldn't be more pleased that you won. So uh, all you have to do is go over to my Etsy shop and, you know, shop over there. Just just let me know you're there, and I'll see that you get your fifty dollar coupon, and then you can shop. Yay! Thank you everybody for for doing that, and uh, thank you for being a subscriber. So let me say hi to people in the chat. I'm glad that's over. I, I tell you what, I probably won't be doing that until another 5,000. And I don't even know if I'll be on YouTube to, for 5,000, truthfully. But um, thank you all for being here. Let me say hi to people in the chat. Um, Selena and Adam and um, Lisa and april and casey and darlene and uh tanya's here and um vanessa and jennifer and dawn and sandra and lisa i think i said lisa twice so and kathleen and mona Le luisa and halloween buddies hi from the uk hey you're new and uh hey forever lose on let me think what is your name? Tara. Hey, Tara. And uh, Cheryl and Dale. 
okay and susan if i miss somebody hello let's get to the jewelry let's get to the stuff i'm more comfortable with um so i got some stuff from ebay this week uh, i got some monet stuff i got another monet bug which brings my bug count to three <laughs> oh, I got a bee this time, so I have the, I have the uh, dragonfly, and I have the butterfly, and I have this bee, or fly, or whatever. I have another spinneret from Monet. So I love that. And... That's from my collection. And yeah, I'm, I'm like so over Christmas, but in one of the lots, there happened to be a very, very pretty Christmas tree pin, which when I saw it in the picture, I thought, oh, it looks like it's missing stones or something, but it's not, and it's really pretty. I love the, um, there's a term for these type, like pinned, pinned beads or something. It's not going to work. Let me hold it like this. Look how pretty. So there's rhinestones and they're pinned into these uh, AB type beads. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? It's not signed or anything, but see what, what got me thinking they, they were missing stones was some of these bead beads are don't have the rhinestones but that that's supposed to be like that so some of them have rhinestones and some of them don't but i think that's really really pretty right happy to have that neville's here and whitley's wears is here and pearl is here and maybe jasmine hi and Nadine, thank you. I thought it was pretty too. Here's the back of it. You can tell it's vintage, but it's not signed. Got a really cute little trembler. Look at that little bee. Look how cute he is. Little trembler bee. Whee! And I forgot to get that blue nail polish. I just did my nails. I forgot to get that off. You can get that off right now. Oh my, there's a stink bug on the wall. That's just not right. It's really warm here today. Brings the stink bugs out. Oh, uh, that's going to bother me. I might have to get that. Oh, you're just going to have to go. I'm not going to have that. Hang on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hang on a second. Stink bug went into the uh, nail polish remover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> you just go nighty-night. Good night. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not squishing them. I know that. I know that. I know what happens when you do that. And it is not good. So he went into the nail polish remover. I'm sure he's breathing that in about now. And it's not, it's not working out too well for him about now. <laughs> Hey, Pamela. Hey, Debbie. This is really different. I like it. And I'm not a big stick pin person, but this is cool. This is like a door knocker stick pin, and I've never seen anything like it. So it's uh, got this like uh, basket weave type design there with uh, the per dangling pearl. And then see, it's like a stick pin. 
cute, huh? It's not signed or anything, but I think it's really cool. Now, like I said, don't like stick pins. Never really cared for stick pins, but that that's cool. Now that I will sell that and it won't be in a lot. Like I was planning on selling my stick pins in a big lot, but I'll, I'll sell that separate because I think that's pretty neat. Hey, Cracky. How are you? And Miss Chris is here. That'd look chic on a jacket lapel. That would, wouldn't it? It looks kind of a, I don't know, chanel -y or something. That's not a word. I know. <laughs> see here I really like this I don't know what it what it represents I don't know if it's a, a religious pendant or what it might be but I'm trying to get all the hair off of this and it's not should have taken the roller over it So this guy is walking along. It looks like he has a cane. Looks like he has a, a some kind of a, I don't know. I was going to say dress, but not a dress, like a long coat thing. There's Then he's got this child he's holding. The child either has a hat or some kind of a halo type thing. Um, but he's holding the child like right here with his arm around the child. What do you think of that? Have you ever seen anything like that? Kilt? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a kilt or not. But um, I got this and I put the chain on with it. Put the chain with it. And I think the chain looks really pretty with it. And uh, I just cleaned this up with the cloth and it really shined up. Like, it's very, very pretty. And it's not magnetic, so... I think it's probably gold plated. If anybody has any thoughts on that, let me know. There's no markings on it or anything. There's the back of it. Interesting, huh? Yeah, I thought the chain looked really good with it, Kathleen. I've been saving that chain for something special, and I and I thought, well, that's it right there. That looks that looks perfect with it. From the Whit Sunday Australia. Oh, from it's from the Whit Sundays Australia. Are you, it reminds you of Saint Christopher. Is this what you're saying, Priscilla? It's from the Whit Sundays Australia, or somebody from. The Whit Sunday Australia. Or does it have to do with this pendant? Let me know. Hi, Neville. Hey, hey, Carla. Because I'm going to write that down, unless you're from Australia. <laughs> oh, no, you're saying hello. Okay, hello. <laughs> I'm glad we clarified that, because I'll be like, this is a Whit Australia pendant necklace. <laughs> They'll be like, no, it isn't. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> um, looks like Timmy from the screw. It did kind of, didn't it? Timmy holding the, the guy holding the, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This show, I'll tell you, this is going to be one for the record books, this show here. Okay, this says opal on it. Opal. <laughs> Hello from the south of New Jersey. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen an opal with that. I guess it's an opal, but look how look at the background of it. It looks, you know, just like it's mounted on a bumpy background. I don't know. Would it just I've never seen an opal mounted like that, but it says it's general, genuine opal, not a general opal, a genuine opal. So that is what it says on the chain. Hey, 
Hey, hi, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Dwayne. See you, Dawn. Have a good day at work, if you're going to work. I'm trying to see if this has something on the spring ring clasp. No, nothing on the clasp, but it has these little uh, earrings to go with it, too. So it's a little set. Maybe a doublet. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. I've heard of those before. Now, this is a very pretty pin. It's really well made. It's not signed, which surprises me. You know, it's one of those ones that you would think should be signed. Look at the details on that. So pretty. It's like tracery. Um, you, everybody slept in today, huh? Oh, thanks, Darlene. I thought it was pretty, too. Everybody getting ready for uh, the football games, I guess. It's afternoon on the left coast, Dwayne. Yeah, I thought you'd like that one, April. That's pretty, isn't it? There's the back of it. The back's just antique gold tone looking. You're finding pretty ones. Oh, yeah, it's broke looking. You're finding pretty sets. Or it's 4.45 a.m. in Australia. Wow, you're up early, Priscilla. My goodness. Super pretty. And I got these little kids. Now, they do look like they have kilts on to me. They look like kilts. Just the colors of them that looks like plaid. Faces are a little odd, but <laughs> especially this one. The face is a little crazy. Mr. Sadie's here. It's 518 AM where Neville's at. You collect them. Do you, Cece? Hi, Connie. Hi, Carmen. Good afternoon. It's good to see ya. You were gonna say Russian dolls. Hmm. Could be. Could be. They got little feathers in their hats and everything. I don't know. They just came in a lot with some other stuff I wanted. I wouldn't have just bought those. I'm not real big on that, that kind of stuff. And there's another little guy. Hi, Mary. I got another Barclay piece, which I was happy about. It does have some some wear on it, but um, it's that gold, light light pale gold color, which I like. So, so the fact that it has a little bit of wear on it doesn't really bother me, and I like the design of it. I like those beads, the shape of them, and the way they're kind of set and encased looking. And uh, I got this from eBay. I think it was uh. It was less than ten dollars, I think. And Barclay, I have a really, really nice necklace of Barclay. So if it doesn't get bought, it's promised to someone, but they haven't bought it yet. So I don't know. Maybe I'll be starting a Barclay collection. <laughs> um, it's very, very pretty. And it's like uh, the cabochons are either glass or some kind of stone i don't know but they're not plastic go patriots yeah that's who my husband's rooting for too the patriots this is a monet bangle and it's very cute it's it's a newer one it's got rhinestones in it pave set stones and the stones are kind of gold um, with some mill grain 
texture there with the rhinestones set in a line across the middle. Can't really see them that much until the light hits them. And then you can tell there's some, some rhinestones in there. So that was in the lot. Love that bangle. I wore a Monet bangle Friday. I love the gold. Me too. And uh, just Monet bangles are just so pretty. I mean, um, I have just so many of them now. I have a bunch of them. That one will go in my collection, I guess. I, don't know, I might, since it's not an older one, and I'm, you know, I'm partial to the older stuff. I might, I might sell that one. The Patriots are still the current Super Bowl champs for four and a half hours. Okay. <laughs> Food. LOL. Uh, they never fade or discolor. Yeah. I have seen, you know, most of them don't. I mean, I'd say like 90% of them. I've, but I have seen some pieces of Monet that I've, I've gone, hmm, what happened to this? You know, there is some rare pieces that do. And I don't know if it's because they haven't been taken care of or what the case is, but sometimes you'll run into a piece that does have some wear on it. These are Richelieu, I think that's how you say it. And these are really nice quality earrings. Um, these always sell like for like weddings, wedding jewelry, um, for brides, brides jewelry. And uh, that's usually the keywords I put with. When I sell the Richelieu uh, faux pearl ear pieces, I will make sure I put that in there. Bridal jewelry. And here's another really nice pair of them on a card still. And um, the price, you can tell someone ripped the price off, but I bet it was 20 some dollars. I know it's double digits there. I think it was 20 something. And these are vintage, so. Those are really cute. I love those. They're kind of dimensional. This part here is like kind of wavy. They're really cute. Are they vintage? Yes, they are. The, Rich the Richelieu? Yeah, they're vintage. Okay, James. What you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> Angie, will you still sell to Australia after the issues you had recently with returns? Um, I think I will, yes. Um, I just sold something there recently, and I didn't have any problems. So. But I know there's something going on down there with that you're supposed to write something, something on the packages some numbers or something but i haven't haven't done that and i haven't ran into any issues so i'm gonna keep on doing it until something happens you know uh, i haven't had any problems so i think he's on the wrong channel yeah <laughs> just wanted to say he loves the president i guess <laughs> um so I don't know if you remember this Monet bro brooch, but I got this bracelet to go with it. I was so happy, and it's book pieces. I'll show you in my book, but I just love these pieces. Love these pieces so much. Look how unique and pretty that bracelet is. I just think that's really, really cool. That just makes me happy just to look at that. That goes in my collection for a while because I can't sell it right yet. It goes in the box right beside the beautiful pin. And I will show you in the book. It's called, it is from 1974 and it is called Mirabeau, M-I-R-A-B-E-A-U, the Mirabeau series. It's right here. Right down there in the corner is the, the bracelet, and there's the pin. I wish they had it in color and a big page of it, but that's what they had. But 
still a book piece, still book pieces. Aren't they pretty, Perla? I love them. I'm so happy to get those. Now, let me see what else there is to get with that. I, I should be on the lookout for the, the necklace. And there's another brooch. And there's two different styles of earrings. So, And there's another uh, style of bracelet, too, that goes with that set or that um, collection. So I should look for that. You have that book on hold at the library. Oh, you'll have fun when you get it, Kathleen. It's so fun to look through. I think I'll, you know, I'm not, I'm not a brooch person that much, except for that one there. I mean, that one's really neat, but um, these are all Monet brooches. And, you know, I don't, I don't have a big affinity for brooches uh, normally. So maybe I'll sell, you know, these or, you know. Not sure if they'll stay in my collection for very long or if I'll sell them. Depends. But there, you know, the, I just have so many pins and I don't even, I don't list them or anything. So, you love the cat? Cat is cute. The cat's a book piece, so I'll probably hold on to the cat for a while. I do remember seeing the cat in the book. And I haven't even looked for these. I'll have to look for those and see if they're in the book. This is, uh, I think this is Coro or Listener. I'm not sure. I am not sure yet what it is. Because I have to look up the hang tag, or the dangle rather. Stangle's not real familiar to me. So I have to look that up, see if I can find that. But this is kind of cool. Very, very definitely vintage looking. It almost looks like a little purse or something. But it's got that festoon uh, chain look on it. I like that. It's pretty long. Kind of neat. Hi, Belinda. An HY picker. Did I miss somebody coming? Hey, Dia. Miss Dia. Whoever I missed that came in, hi. I like these. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to move these pretty quick, I think, because people like their hoops and they like the big modernist sleek looking hoops like this. So should get these listed. They're nice, they're just silver tone, in nice shape, wide, simple, sleek, chunky. Tracy, Tracy, you know what? I when I sent you that card to the UK, I wasn't even thinking that probably needed more postage on it. I didn't even think of that. I just slapped a fifty or U.S. postage stamp on it and left it fly. And I bet when it got over there, you had to you had to pay postage on that. And I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. That's just how my brain works. I mean, I'm used to sending. Etsy packages. I wouldn't know why I would just think of a card. I would I don't know. I wasn't thinking. So I am going to make sure you get that back. Joe, wow, it's been a while. I'll say. How are you? How are you doing? I see you on Instagram. You and your um menagerie of uh, animals. I always like to see all your animals, Joe. That's fun. You must have a fun life with all your goats and all your all your little animals. I really love this. This is a another Monet bracelet that I got. It's a very nice shape. It's okay. You didn't have to pay. Oh, good. 
I was thinking you did. I was like, oh no, I think she has to pay extra postage. This is, uh, I love this. I don't have many uh, silver, silver bracelets with the uh, chains. That is very, very pretty. Collection, collection for a while. Tracy, I was going to send you this one thing, but I can't send it to you now because I don't want you to have to pay the. I'm gonna, I want to show it to you though, just just because I want to show it to you. You're gonna have to come over here and get it. <laughs> Look, Loki. Is it Loki? Look, Tracy. I got that for you. I'd love to send it to you, but I don't want you to have to pay pay ta uh, customs on it. You know what I mean? Isn't he dear? Does he look like yours? If I knew how much customs was, I'd like send it to you. I'd send you the extra. But isn't he cute? She has West Highland Terriers. Tracy does. She's my dear friend in, in the UK. Oh, how are the doggies doing? Adam, they're doing good. Uh, um, Joe, Joe is, you know, he's not sick or anything, but his, the last time he had his blood checked, his uh, liver enzymes were up and his cholesterol was up and so he's on a low fat diet he's he was on antibiotics for a month and then he just went in for a recheck i find out on tuesday how the blood work is gonna is so you know prayers for that for tuesday this is kind of pretty Your daughter, your daughter has two Westies. Oh, this is this looks like it has wear, you know, finish wear, but it doesn't. It's actually gold with silver in the middle of these like petals. So it's gold and silver, and it has that bright fuchsia stone in it. Oh. I would say it would not be much extra. Do you think? Because I would put extra in there. I want I want you to have it. It's so cute. I I'm gonna send it then. I'm gonna send it. Um is this glass? No, it's acrylic. This is acrylic. There's the back of it. It's also a pendant. Oh, Tracy. I wish I could give you a hug. Oh. This is cute. This is kind of what do you would think maybe a jelly belly type of a a pin, right? But it's not old or anything. But it's very cute. I love green jewelry. And uh I love the the green and the clear rhinestones in it. It's in really good shape. There's no no missing stones. That's the way it looks on the back. Very cute, very sellable piece. Looks like a bug. I love that. Yeah, I love that too. It's very sellable. The bug. Did I say something else other than a bug? I didn't say something like a bird or something, did I? <laughs> Who knows? I think one thing and I say another. Um, I like this. It's a little cable ring. It's like it's like you know those cable bracelets, bangles. Well, this is like the ring version, and it has the little. It's got little pink stones in the end. See, that's the details that I like little details that you have to notice and go oh look it's got little 
little pink stones in each end of it too. So this is a very cute ring. I think it's well, it's nice quality, a nice quality ring too, for a, for a, uh, you know, costume ring. And if you had one of those cable uh, bracelets, it would be cool to wear that too. Ladybug, ready to fly off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. I feel Nap calling me. I love you, Ian. Hey, Darlene, you take care. I hope your shoulder's not hurting too bad today. Um, I put you to sleep, did I? <laughs> oh, you take care. This is a Monet Christmas pin. It's very pretty. I would wear that. Prayers for my friend Patty. She had gum surgery done. She wasn't in church today. And uh, she's not feeling so good. So she's really nauseous from gum surgery. Hi, Katrina. Laser Razor. Hey, thank you for the thumbs up. Here's a little ring. Cute. Yeah, I'm going to be getting off of here soon, too. How are you? Thanks for coming. Some Baroque-type uh, pearls, pearl clips. Probably on a strong antibiotic. Yeah, maybe she is. I don't know. She's just really not been doing too well since she had that. Some kind of filler, gum filler stuff. I never heard of the what she had done. Hey, Tracy. Super Bowl day, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm going to go soon. I don't know what time to... I'll be watching the Puppy Bowl every once in a while. That's what I'm going to be watching. Little heart earrings. With a little pin. Angie, you crack me up. <laughs> I do. Well, it's good. I usually crack myself up, too. And thank you for the prayers for Patty. I like this owl. I'm not real big on owls, but it, ha it has to have something different going on, going with it. Going on with it if it's going to attract my attention. So I like this green stuff here. It's like a... You know, it's textured, it's green, it looks like feathers. So that's kind of different. It's, I guess it's resin. Some kind of acrylic or resin type stuff. I got some big 70s Monet earrings. Ooh, them some big ones. They're like plates. You know, eat off them babies. What? I've got to get my big shoulder pads on. What? Hey, Marie's here. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Thanks. Stone ring's pretty. Angie's the best. Oh. Uh, I'm blessed to know you, Tracy. I like these. I like these Monet earrings a lot because... Okay, you don't often see you would you would think they would go like this and I guess you could probably wear them like that if you wanted to but usually when you see an earring you think the way that the clip is going up the direction the clips going up is the way you should be wearing it right your earlobe should go straight down into there so that would make the earring go like that which is pretty cool I like that it goes like that it's kind of um, atomic kind of kind of mid-century like i don't know abstract or something i mean you'd think it would go like that but it goes like that so that's cool so i like these these are going in my collection i like the finish on them that's very fine hammered finish very cool finish 
And these are very cool Monet, older Monet. This one actually has a little divot in it, but they're the kind that are, um, they're closed back like that and they're big and they're very nice, very nice. So I have to look, I haven't looked these, some of this stuff up to see if it's in the book. I'm going to have to look, see if they're in the book. Laverne Katie, hi. You've been waiting on your live chat. Nice jewelry. Yow's cute. Love Monet. Well, thanks for coming, Laverne. I, I, are you new? I haven't seen you before, but thank you. That one looks like a fishing lure. Uneducated man brain today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, part of that's right, but Dwayne, I know you're not uneducated because, like, don't, aren't you the Mensa man? Like, don't, don't you have that Mensa score or whatever that thing is? Aren't you like a genius? Because I think I remember one time you being, like, called out for being, like, genius quality, genius material. Hey, hey, Kath, uh, Kathleen, and hey, um, Thelma, these are very pretty. Monet, too, Silvertone. Liking these. Yes, I am new, but I, but never live. Well, I'm glad you came in live today. That that's really nice. Thank you. Thanks for coming. These are good on the back too. Nice on the back. Nope. Must have been somebody else. Oh, it was you that was like genius. It was you. Hey, Vicky. Tell me my brain's not that bad. Hey, Carmen. I think I said I said hi to Carmen already. I like these, and I think they're in the book. These are these are definitely old. They have that older says the older big the big Monet lettering on them can't see it but it's there and uh, such a cool design of those I love the little swirly swirls they probably would go over here so cute you're not a genius or a member of Mensa it's not me Angie <laughs> It's not Adam. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, Adam. <laughs> I'm not either. First time I caught you live. Oh, welcome, Kathleen. I'm glad all these new people caught me live. Then, then I got these little tiny uh, Monet shells. Yeah, I feel really good, really blessed and good today. That new new people are on here. That's cool. These are some cream colored Monet buttons, button earrings. Lots of Monet, lots of earrings. What do I have that's different? Here's something different. Here's a, a really pretty pin. Um, I think I've gotten this brand before, Tacoa. I don't know, is it familiar to you guys, Tacoa? T A C O A. Uh, it's got scattered stones in it, lots of swirly filigree and open work. Um, it's like clear, clear cabochon there, and it's green and clear. I like that. That's very pretty. And it came on that card. Anybody here at Tacoa? Your dad and your brother are Mensa, but you missed, you just missed the boat. <laughs> wow, that's cool, Kathleen. I would say my brother probably is too, although I don't know he ever got tested, but he's he's pretty very, very smart. Is that a Penny's brand? I don't know. I didn't think I ever heard of Tacoa being Penny's, but I, I had I don't know. I don't keep up with the those brands. A whale. I don't know. This is cute. He's got a feather, a, a colorful feather. That's cute, isn't it?
he's metal metal and enamel he's white on the back there like that it's cute your sister thinks you're smart <laughs> i'm sure you're smart thank you for the thumbs up vanessa then i got one of these big thick monet chains i might let this go I might sell this because I, I think I have a, a, a Napier one that's similar and I don't know, but quality Monet, curb, double curb link chain, very nice, says Monet on the hook. Well, when it is six here. It was 50 there, so you must be smart, Kathleen. <laughs> uh, R-O-I-S, in the house with that bird. Oh, okay. I had a parrot like that in the 70s. Oh, Chris. Hey, Angie, did I catch you live? You did. You did, Leslie. I'm glad you caught me live. Mr. T. Jewelry. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty. It should be signed, but. I don't see any signature on it. It's 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 kind of neat for for a leaf type open leaf type pin. I like it. But you know what, Leslie? I'm I'm getting ready to go. Actually, getting ready to leave because it's Super Bowl Sunday. I have a frog with a top hat. A frog with a hat, missing some enamel. First, I thought it was Mr. Peanut, and then I'm, I look closer and I'm like, no, I do believe that's a frog. I do believe on closer inspection, that's a frog. I know, Leslie. It's usually 1.30. I don't know what time it is out there in Oregon when they're, when when it's 1.30 here. But 1.30 Eastern is when I go live on Sundays. You love the frog? No, Angie. Go past your boundaries. We're having fun. Really? Hey, Barb. Don't leave, Angie. Aw. You know what? I'm glad you guys are having fun. <laughs> What did Mr. T say? Yeah, I pity the fool who wears this jewelry. <laughs> Angie, where do you find most of what you sell on Etsy? Oop, disappeared. I will scroll up and get that comment. I don't have great thrift stores near me, and I feel I'm wasting time. Um, Pamela, I, I source a lot on eBay to sell on Etsy, truthfully. I mean, especially now in the wintertime. Um, I will generally look for lots that I know that there's pieces in that I can make money on. Now, it's not the same as going to a yard sale where you can get a piece for a dollar. Sometimes it is. You know, it depends. I mean, it, you just have to be vigilant and, you know, look and, and, uh, but then it gets kind of addicting, which is, which is, I'm going to have to stop now because for a while there I was buying stuff every day. It just gets addicting. So, yeah, I do. I do go to eBay and get a lot of stuff for Etsy. It doesn't start till three out there. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm scrolling down. I missed, I missed some stuff, I'm thinking. Still snowing today? No, it isn't snowing. In fact, it's uh, it is like, I bet it's getting close to fifty. If it's not fifty, everything's melting. It's beautiful out. Um, oh, oh, Tracy, that's great. Thank you so much. I will send it. My Etsy store, Halloween Buddies, is called Dazzled by Vintage, and um, here's what it looks like. Dazzled by Vintage. You see that right there? You're in the right place. Dazzled by Vintage. And it's all one word. 
What happened? There we go. It's all one word. There's some stuff. So everything's on sale, although it doesn't look it's not showing on sale, but so you get an idea what's what's in there. And uh haven't I've only gotten a few listings a day done, so there's not not a whole lot of new stuff in there, but I will try to list few things today after I'm done here and uh, but there is a uh, there is 700 and oh, close to 800 things in there so and I've got 4071 sales and I've been on Etsy since 2011 and I have 1555 positive feedbacks hi Laura Laura just got here I guess Thank you, Halloween. Thank you, Tanya. Um, yeah, it's always good to run sales. I mean, uh, uh, most of the time I am running a sale. I let it rest for a while and then I put it back on because I do think that a lot of people, when they go to shop, you know, there is that option that says shop sales. And I think that's what people click first. I mean, I know I would. I'd, I'd click that first so I'm sure people are clicking that shop sales and if your shops not on sale it's not going to be in in the top you know top searches so at least that's my theory what's my daily sell through rate with 800 listings um <laughs> it varies Adam um <laughs> Normally it's a few a day, you know, but but I sometimes I'll sell like you know what what really happens is I'll sell a, a huge lot to, to people er, like maybe once a month or so I'll sell a big lot and that's where you know the bulk of the the profit comes in when it when something like that happens and it happens pretty frequently. Um thank you, Belinda. These are clip on clip on earrings. So if, yeah. Hi Penny. How are you? Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're getting along okay. Really, that's about the extent of what I have to show you today, I think. I think I just about showed you everything. Do you, have, do you guys have to go out? I think the kids are here wanting to go outside. Do your buyers typically purchase more than one item at a time? Um, not typically, but you know, some do, but it's not, it's not like, you know, every sale is like a couple items from a person. No, nah, it's usually like one item, but you know, there are people who you know certain people or you know sometimes people buy five six items sometimes two you know it just depends uh, I went there and can't get it up you can't it's dazzled by vintage dot Etsy dot com and it's all one word dazzled by vintage you always have more to show I know Huh? Don't we have more to show? I know. I don't. I know. Well, I, Barb, I had just don't. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, you make my day, Leslie. Say to you, Barb. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm going to go, you guys. Thank you for coming. And uh, I will see you next week uh, if everything goes good. And um, see, this is the, I don't think we have a show this week, but I think next, on the 13th, the next week, Wednesday, Tanya and I will be doing 
a uh, trends show, and it's going to be the spring, summer uh, jewelry trends like we did last year. It's going to be on my channel. Tanya's going to help me get it on my channel. So it'll be like the one we did last year for fall and winter, only it's going to be the spring, summer jewelry trend show. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be February 13th. The same time we have our jewelry detective show, it's going to be 12 o'clock Eastern, 11 Central. So tune in for that, and uh, hopefully we'll be we'll be on track for that, and we'll show that. I can't wait to see what jewelry is going to be trending for this spring, and I can't wait for spring. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Laura. Thank you for coming. Bye, everybody. Have a blessed day. See ya.